<laughs> Hello, Sag. So, welcome if you are new to the channel. Welcome back if you love me. I love you too. Y'all know how I feel about my sages. All right. So, June readings. Uh, mind you, if this is catching you in divine time, whenever it catches you, chances are really likely there's a message in here for you. Time is fluid. It moves in a spiral. We revisit energy. So, if it catches you when it catches you, there's probably a message in here for you. All right. Know that you guys got a bonus reading, I believe, for having the most views for the, the April videos. All right. So there will be a second Sagi reading for you. Make sure to check it out. Congrats on that. If you want to continue getting bonus messages and seeing what else is going on in your energy, make sure to hit that like button. <laughs> Make sure to hit the like button, leave me comments, and share it with your other wonderful sage placement friends so that they can get the views up, all right? And you guys can continue getting bonus messages. All of the June video stats will decide who gets bonus readings in August. All right, so for today, I am using my Animal Spirit Wild Unknown cards by Kim Kranz, as well as the Naked Heart Tarot. All right. If you are new to the channel, enjoy my fabulous new ticker tape. <laughs> it will help you better understand what I fucking talk about here on the channel so that you can understand what I'm saying. All right. When I talk about the mirror and masculine and feminine and all that jazz. All right. So keep it in mind. And if you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask in the comments. Without further ado, oh, cross watchers, I love you. You are more than welcome here. Just keep in mind, I'm referring to Sag and talking to Sag because it's their reading, but I may most definitely be talking to you, right? That's why it is so important to take it how it resonates. So, Sagy, ooh. Am I doing that? There's more than one card here, Spirit. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we've got frog on the bottom, so maybe you're going through some transformation process, right? From the tadpole to the middle, whatever the fuck it is, to the big finale. Ooh, interesting. Wow, what a combination of energy. We've got scorpion, swan, and fire ant. Holy shiza. <laughs> all right sag <clears throat> we got double fire on the ends here <laughs> and water in the middle well sag the way i'm pulling this energy with these three cards I feel like you know when you got to go with the flow and be out because you don't like it when your spidey senses kind of go off and your aggression starts to tingle, right? Because Sag is very easygoing. They're really optimistic. They're a lot of fun. They definitely go with the flow, super spontaneous, like to do whatever. But they have that fire, right? They have that fire. And when you're around people... It's, and you start to get that tingle like you want to fucking explode and say some shit to someone, right? Um, I think you got to be really aware of when you're feeling those energies like you're about to pop the fuck off and go with the flow of what the heck you're feeling because you might be completely fucking bombarded, right? That light that pops off and sacrifices the self might just be... Um, you authentically taking taking a huge hit, okay, from people, right? People jumping down your throat for it, um, for saying what needs to be said. And you might know it needs to be said, right? You might know it needs to be said. You might have been taught that it's not proper to say, but it needs to be said anyway, right? And so Sag might just be going with the flow and saying some shit that gets everybody up in arms, like, listen, if I got to throw myself to the fucking wolves in order for the truth to be said, then fuck it. I'm going to throw myself to the wolves and say the fucking truth. Mm. Mirror, mirror. 
right? Mirror, mirror with this one. And I think what you're doing, honestly, Sag, especially if you have found yourself in a very high place, right? High masculine, high feminine, very sovereign, alchemist type energy. Um, you might intuitively know that you're being drawn into the mirror of other people, but that it is not, in fact, your mirror. Because when you're in high energy like that, you know when the divine is calling you forward to be the mirror for other people and that you know it's not your energy, right? There is a point that people reach where they give the highest good energy possible, um, even if that means triggering the shit out of people because they need to be triggered. It needs to come up, right? The lead needs to be able to turn to gold, which means it needs a catalyst. Um, if the lead is going to turn to gold, it needs a catalyst. It needs to be brought up. It needs to be triggered. So you might be that person this month that says what everybody doesn't want to hear in their mirror. They're denying that it's in their mirror and you're, you might just be throwing it in their face. And it's because you're doing what the divine is asking you to do. Okay. Intuitively, you kind of know it that you're just being the mirror in the world and people might fucking swarm you for it but you know it is what it is if they didn't want you to say what you said well they should be in a better vibe then <laughs> they should be in a better vibration then they, they shouldn't be attracting it in their mirror then you know spirit puts you in the right place at the right time because you're the alchemist you're the catalyzing agent you're the high energy right you're the high energy. Someone had to fucking say it. Someone had to fucking say it. Like shit. Insight, please, spirit. Yeah, like everybody loves hearing the good stuff, but as soon as you put the bad stuff in someone's face or you start responding in a way that they don't fucking like, and it's like, well, what the fuck did you expect? You're acting like that or behaving like that. What did you expect? It could be as simple as telling someone you don't want to be with them anymore. Like, I'm sorry. What did you expect? You act like this. You act like that. Like, what did you expect? And it's that facet of themselves, right? If you're like, if you're, let's just say you're talking to someone and you're like, listen, you fucking lie to me. You use me. You manipulate me. You play fucking games with me. You don't consider me. You take me for granted. Yeah, I'm fucking leaving. What do you expect? What do you expect? And in the divine mirror of things, right? They're, they're receiving the facet of themselves that knows they're fucking lying about who they are being okay when it's not because lying is not okay. Using people and taking them for granted and manipulating them is not okay. And you're the facet of themselves that says, yeah, you're doing these things, but it's not okay. Yeah, I'm fucking leaving. Yeah, I'm leaving. You know it's not okay. On some deep level, you know it's not okay and you're doing it anyway. Yeah, I'm fucking leaving. And people don't want to fucking hear it because that means they can't stay in their fucking shadow and they have to change or lose it. And to be fair, Sag gets to that point. Um, it's going to be difficult to call them back. Sag... Sag is an optimist. They love giving people chances. The Sag gets pissed off enough to say, fuck this, I'm out, and they quit. Like, I'll say this about Sag. Sag will only quit on someone when someone has quit on themselves. If a Sag walked away from you and quit, said, I'm done, threw their fucking hands up, is because they were the alchemist, right? Temperance, they were the alchemist. They were the sage, bringing in the wisdom, right? Ninth house ruler, Jupiter, bringing in the blessings. And you fucking shit on it. You quit on your improvement. You quit on your expansion. You quit on your growth. So Sadger's like, fuck it. I'm out then. I'll go somewhere else where my energy is appreciated, where my wisdom is appreciated, where my blessing is appreciated. Fuck this. Sag quits, right? 
sad quits, but they only quit because at some point someone else quit on themselves. They quit on their own growth. They quit on their own evolution or their improvement. They were like, no, I'm never going to change. All right. Such so was like, I do change though. I'm mutable. I change. I'm out. You want to stay fixed? You want to stay stuck? You want to do things your way, right? Fixed or carnal energy? You don't want to fucking change? All right, fine. I'll change. I'm out. How about that? <laughs> right? That's sad. You don't want to change? That's okay. I'll change. Bye. Bye. I'll change. That's sad. People don't fucking like it. That's their problem. They should have fucking paid attention. Should have fucking paid attention. Sag don't waste their fucking breath. They don't like it. People have said, oh, Sag has so much to say. Sag is this. Sag is that. They have so much to say. Sag don't shut up. Well, maybe you should fucking listen. Because if you listened, Sag wouldn't have to keep reiterating it or regurgitating their wisdom. If you just fucking listened and applied it the first time. You want a Sag to shut up? Listen. <laughs> listen. So here we go. What insight, please, spirit, for Sag? What insight for Sag for June? We got the Nine of Pentacles Ooh. and the World card with the High Priestess. I mean, one more in clarities, please. Sag. I love my saggies. And the three of swords. All right, clarities, please. Whoa. Judgment in reverse, clarifying the nine of pentacles. The lovers, clarifying the universe. That's way too many. The Six of Swords with the Nine of Cups reverse, clarifying the High Priestess. And the Three of Swords is clarified by the Four of Wands. We've got Death on the bottom. And the Eight of Wands on top. So, Saggy, you're getting the synchronicities from Spirit. You're kind of doing as you're guided, right? You're getting the downloads. It's transforming the reality. You're doing your fucking alchemist thing. You're doing your fucking alchemist thing and you're probably running like the fucking wind. Moving high speed. High speed. You're moving high speed. You're transforming stuck energy. You're transforming stuck childhood wounds on the bottom of the deck. You might be dealing with Gemini or Virgoian energy. Raining down some serious fucking truth bombs. Black Swan truth bombs. Defending yourself. What? What? Yeah, people don't fucking like it. Yeah, people don't fucking like it. You're standing in your power and putting them at a crossroads. You're like, put up or shut up. Grow up or get out. You're not fucking around. Sag ain't fucking around. This is fucking fire and truth here. They're, they're, they're in victory mode. They're in fucking victory mode. They are not confused about the victory. Sag. Well. Right? Being fucking nosy on the bottom of the deck. We got the Nine of Pentacles with the Judgment card in reverse. Sag, if you've got a past person coming back from your life trying to resurrect themselves, I think you're staying fucking sovereign. I think you're staying solo. Like if you've got a past person coming back, I think that example that I used of, well, what did you expect? Like, what did you expect? You treated me like this and you thought you can call me up and just get your Sag back? What are you, fucking nuts? You really think you could just call me up and say whatever you think you need to say in order to get back in my good graces so you can have your Saggy back? Like, did you really think that was going to work? After XYZ occurred? And X amount of time has passed? What did you think was going to happen? I think Sag is making a judgment call. They're closing a cycle. The universe with the lovers. I think they're choosing to marry themselves. They're choosing inner union. They're choosing to be a high mirror. This is queen bee shit. 
queen bee shit. They're seeing things from the higher, highest perspective there is. The eagle's highest perspective there is. Sag is in love with who they are and what they're creating. Sag loves their reflection, right? And in, in the mirror of things. They love the mirror that they've created. <clears throat> the high priestess, six of swords in the reverse with the nine of cups in the reverse. I think Sag intuitively knows if they were to go back, right? Not move forward because this is in reverse. If they were to go back, it would not be the wish. Nine of cups reverse, it would not be the wish fulfillment. They already know. There is no going back. There is no going back. The butterfly doesn't go back to being a caterpillar. It doesn't work. The lead don't go back to being gold. It doesn't work like that. They're probably breaking a, breaking a quote-unquote twin flame's heart. Someone they themselves may have considered a twin flame in the past. Someone they would once have done anything for. Who they were extremely optim optimistic about. Who they were trying to help and rain wonderful wisdom down on. I think they're moving high speed in, in another direction. They're not the same. They're not the same. You are not the same, Sag. You've earned your sage. You've expanded. You've changed, right? Mutable as fuck. You've changed. You're not going back. You'd rather stay single than risk it. So I just like, I'm not stupid. Yeah, I know you miss me. I was great for you. Unfortunately for you, you weren't great for me. It was very unfortunate for me. Now I'm doing it again. I don't want to put myself in that situation where I'm discerning whether or not you're lying or not, or I'm discerning whether I'm not I'm being used, or I'm discerning whether or not you're going to stick around for the long run, or just using me for the moment to go, you know, as a stepping stone to get to wherever you're going or whatever your next step is, however you're manipulating someone else. Or are you coming back to me just to make someone else jealous? Like, what the fuck is your, what's your motive? So I just like, what's your motive? What's your motive for coming back to me? Because the way you treated me before was shit. You got gold. And tried to give me lead. So I created my own gold. I turned myself into gold, right? Created my own gold. And they're like, what, you want me to go back to being lead? You want me to go back? Like, no. No. And whoever you're saying no to might not fucking like it. Oh, well, bitch, please. Should have saw the fucking diamond I was right in front of you, right? But you thought I was a piece of broken glass? You thought I was just some fucking crystal? Lying in a field of crystal? No, it was a fucking diamond out there. It's a fucking diamond out there. Yes, my mug matches my shirt. <laughs> you can find it in my Teespring shop. That is my Sagittarius shit, by the way. I'm repping it today. You can see she's got that saggy <laughs> symbol on her neck, throat chakra. Hey. Yeah, saggy ain't fucking around. For June, if you fucked over a sag, you took advantage of a sag, and you want them back in June, don't count on it. Don't count on it. Sag would rather be single. They ain't desperate. Sag is not desperate. And they don't give a fuck that you're coming back and they have a chance to quote unquote succeed with you where it failed before. Sag wrote it off as a loss. Sag already cut their losses. They're like, the universe gave it back to me via myself, right? They cut their losses with whoever this is. It's like, who's coming back? Who? Who? You're coming back? No, you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming back? No, you ain't. <laughs> Not to this Sag. Not to this Sag. Sag is out. So with that, Sag, I love you. I will catch you in Ophiuchus, say? And in your bonus reading. 
Bye.